few minutes. Thank you so much. Thanks. Mr. Speaker, I don't think my colleagues on the other side are aware that it is Gun Violence Awareness Month, which should actually be every month. We've already had over 290 mass shootings this year. That's more mass shootings than days in the year. It's been time for us to come together to try to address the horrific gun crisis. It's tearing our communities apart, Mr. Speaker, by our legislative inaction every single day. So how? How do we start Gun Violence Awareness Month? We're pushing, they are, pushing a bill that would make mass shootings even more deadlier. You heard that right. The plan is by, for them to raise awareness around gun violence in our country, which has again been horrific and more deadlier, is to ensure that it impacts more American families than ever before by making it easier to access stabilizing braces that have been misused, that have been used, to, again, for mass shootings. And it's not just the mass shootings, Mr. Speaker, it's everyday violence that doesn't even make the news anymore. It's a travesty that campaign cash from the NRA, gun manufacturers, and pro-death lobby have blocked the major reforms that we need to keep our communities safe. Our communities need an assault weapons ban. We need reforms on handguns and bold initiatives to reduce the number of firearms in our communities. Most of all, Mr. Speaker, we need accountability for the people that are causing this violence because the gun violence crisis is enabling more people in power unwilling to do anything to stop the mass murder of countless Americans, especially our children. I look forward to supporting future legislation that truly does fight the crisis with the urgency it deserves instead of pouring more fuel on the fire like this disgusting Republican bill. Thank you, and I yield. The gentleman from New York Reserves, the gentleman from Texas is recognized.